Ja, herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Ausgabe AC Talk p 2019 bei mir, uh, Fire with Zink. Wir haben das letzte Interview gemacht in Munich, uh, in München. Das sage ich schon in Englisch. In München, in München im Anfang November, also vor gut vier Monaten. Und Brandon McDonalds, er wird uns jetzt einfach Update geben, was sie seit München getan haben. Brandon, thank you to have time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I said in my German introduction yeah. that was the last meeting was in Munich. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, yeah, it's four, four months ago. Yeah, four, five months ago. Yeah. What's happened in the last four, five months? Well, the big news is uh, just in mid February we closed the financing. Mm -hmm. um, this is a challenging market to finance. Um, we did it, we raised $5 million, and the most notable thing about it was the lead orders came from uh, Tech Resources. Okay. Uh, so Tech uh, now owns 9.9% of Fireweed. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they are one of the world's preeminent zinc miners. Mm -hmm. They own a large mm -hmm. lead and zinc smelting complex in British Columbia. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't, is I don't there any, is in a, any synergies of when you say, okay, they have the, the mine plant there? So with your project, that um, that's maybe you feed or you, you deliver well, feed for for them stuff or is yeah, too for, for far the, away for their smelter and uh, no, no mine level synergies yeah. but their smelting complex in British Columbia absolutely um, because it, it would be um, relatively easy to get our, our concentrate from site Uh, to Railhead in British Columbia and then take it down to Trail in British Columbia, which is where their smelting complex is. And I, you know, I, I can't read their minds um, or speak no, for them. Mines, but, mines, mines for but, but, but I assume that that was part of the angle to them was that uh, they were interested in securing, you know, additional potential long-term feed for their smelting complex. Uh, that brings also on your side maybe, maybe, all maybes, uh, in the future the CapEx down. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and I think that... Um, One of the things that's that's interesting is you've got, uh, you know, they, they get this, they understand the project, they've they've been on the ground quite a bit before, in the past, they they knew it, um, so I think that it's uh, it's a massive vote of confidence in the project mm -hmm. and the team. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, is the share price reacting on this news? Moderately, it's been pretty subdued. I think this is a tough market, mm -hmm. and um, I expected a bit more of a reaction. I mean, look, it's not nothing. I don't, I don't know this exact moment we're trading at, but I think we closed at 94, 95 cents yesterday, mm -hmm. and when we announced the financing with Tech, it was 84 cents. Mm -hmm. So it's not nothing, um, but uh, I, I think it's going to take some time for the market to digest this news mm -hmm. and for the share price to appreciate and I think that the people who are paying attention not just to our specific news but how the zinc market starting to pick up again I think you're going to see some more wind in the sales of zinc juniors do you get also a little bit uh, exit to the, the technical team so that they can help you a little bit on the technical side too yeah one of the things that that's been really great and I, I gotta commend the team at tech for for being uh, um, very accessible to us and and uh, very good with us. Uh, you know, their geologists are some of the premier geologists in the world to explore for this sort of deposit. Uh, so we've had good conversations with the team who work at uh, Red Dog and ask them, what's working for you? What's helping you find these things? And we shared with them um, some of our ideas too. Um, and it's actually been very beneficial for both of us because we're doing things that they aren't. Because mm -hmm. sometimes big companies are a little less willing to, mm. to be experimental and, mm. and we've been trying to be really cutting edge with our exploration methodology um, so it's actually been uh, um, a real symbiotic relationship there mm -hmm. that we're both you know benefiting from okay that was the past mm -hmm. but more important is the future yeah uh, so what are you planning for the rest of the year uh, you know with the money in hand we're gonna we're gonna go out there this summer and and do a reasonable sized drill program this drill program is gonna focus more on the regional exploration, mm -hmm. uh, testing some new targets and some, I would say, immature targets that they're not mm -hmm. yet fully understood. Uh, like us, uh, Tech and our other investors feel that that's never been given a proper look. Mm -hmm. And if if the district thesis proves to be correct, then, it, then it's a real game changer for the project. Mm -hmm. right? You know, we, we talk about how this is a district scale project, but then you need to, to put together additional discoveries mm -hmm. to show that it is an actual district beyond mm -hmm. your known zones. You know. We um, have a few zones that have known intersections that were not in the last resource. So we're looking to, to perhaps build those out and understand what the potential resource implications are of that too. Mm -hmm. um, do you can any is a, any size of drill program? Uh, how many holes you want to drill and so on? Or is it too early? 
No, I, it's not too early. I would say that it's probably going to be about, uh, I'm guessing, 20 holes, mm -hmm. uh, give or take, and, and probably about three to 4,000 meters. Mm -hmm. Not going to be a lot of deep holes because the, the new targets we're testing, we don't think they're deep targets. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we necessarily in this market have an appetite to be drilling a lot of deep holes. Mm -hmm. um, those are expensive, and, and as, mm -hmm. as, as happened last year, our deepest hole last year missed. Um, because it, it went in between two zones, and unfortunately, um, well, it gave us a good idea where the fault was, which is which is useful information. But it was a bit frustrating that we just passed right between the zones. Um, but that was our deepest hole, and that that was almost a month of drilling, right? Yeah, so that's that's sure. so. With with this more subdued market right now and a lower budget, I, I think we're we're sticking to the shallower stuff. Come to the market. What is your feeling about the sink market? Well, so we saw in between, even in between when we talked last and now, we saw the uh, Chinese smelters really cut back capacity. So now we've gone from an from a undersupply of concentrate to an oversupply. So treatment charges have gone through the roof, and we're starting to see now that's starving the physical zinc metal market, um, and inventories are dropping off quickly. So ourselves and and, and like Wood Mackenzie just made a statement uh, the other day about being very bullish on, on zinc prices for this year um, and some of the tra traders we talk to think as well as us that this is a you know this is not a flash in the pan this is a definite multi-year bull market for zinc because there doesn't seem to be a clean solution for the uh, shortage of metal mm -hmm. no that's my 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 point of view too then when you look all uh, the price and then you look the inventory yeah. it's not correlation that no. should not And that 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 separation can only exist for so long before you reach you know the, the so-called stock out where where there's there's nothing to buy and then prices go ballistic right so uh, we'll see we'll see maybe it'll happen this year. Frank, hmm. thank you for the update. Yeah. Good luck with drilling. Good luck with your new partner. Yep, thank you. Uh, I think it's really a major step forward. Mm. And uh, hopefully uh, we see nice drill results also yep. from the new area. Yep. So maybe you prove up the concept yep. that is now a whole new district, and that yep. would be a really a great, great news. Then, yeah, this was um, update. Fire with zinc, and zwar zinc is an extremely interesting uh, metal, and we have at the end talked about it. That this somehow doesn't come together from the zinc metal, from the price her, and from the inventories. And he had also said himself that uh, what we can see, for example, is with a study that came out that this change that we have just seen is not only short-term, but also durchaus long-term. So, this you see a long-term bull market for zinc. So. Das war das vom Markt. Aber das Wichtigste beim Unternehmen war, und das ist letzt, äh, vor ein paar Wochen passiert, äh, Tech ist eingestiegen mit 9,9 Prozent. Ja. 9,9 Prozent. Äh, Bei denen hat eine Private Placement mitgemacht. Die Aktie hat eigentlich eher Verhalten darauf reagiert. Aber das ist natürlich schon äh, ein, ein Major News, wenn da ein so ein großer äh, seine, seine 9,9 Prozent Anteile kauft, der will mehr. Uh, entweder will er mehr oder er bringt natürlich dann uh, die, 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 die anderen uh, Produzenten auch darauf, dass das ein sehr interessantes Projekt ist. Und es macht auch Synergiepotenzial durchaus uh, Sinn, weil die eine, 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 eine Erz, nicht eine Mühle haben, sondern eine Schmelzanlage haben, wo sie das Zink dementsprechend aufbereiten. Und das könnte durchaus ein Projekt sein, das in Zukunft für, für diese Schmelzanlage uh, Material liefert, Konzentrat liefert, das dann dementsprechend positiv äh, umsetzen wollen. Was wollen sie heuer machen? Sie wollen mindestens äh, ja, 20 Bohrlöcher bohren, das sind so 3.000, 4.000 Meter. Äh, sie wollen neue Gebiete testen, ganz wichtig, äh, weil damit würden sie den, äh, den, ein Konzept, dass sie möglicherweise einen neuen Distrikt haben, bestätigen. Das heißt, wenn diese Bohrlöcher auch dann teilweise treffen und neue Vorkommen finden, also Discovery Host sozusagen machen, dann Prüft das Ganze ab, dass das wirklich ein District ist und das würde natürlich dann als Spiel dort ganz anders aufziehen, weil dann ist nicht nur eine Mine dort, sondern potenziell viel, viel mehr Minen. Ja, also spannende Sache, Zink ist sowieso auch einer meiner Lieblingsmetalle momentan und äh, Fire with Zink hat dann gemacht da in diesem Fall einen sehr, sehr guten Job. Das war's von der PIDEC 2019 im März Toronto. Tschüss und Baba. Thank you. Thank you.